I've had lots of questions in the comments lately about the folding pocket knife exemption in section 139 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988, which makes it an offence to be in the public place with a blade or pointed article, unless you have a good reason, or it comes within this folding pocket knife exemption and any of the other exemptions. But about the folding pocket knife exemption, I've got one such example here. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, although I welcome sponsorships if there's any knife manufacturers watching. Um, this is a Barvivo corkscrew, if this will focus for you, and it has within it a small knife here, which I consider to come within the folding pocket knife exemption because this very short blade here is less than three inches long and doesn't take any force at all to close back down, much less any kind of button or anything else. So you can close this down very easily and you can open it up. Clearly it is designed for the use of cutting any seals for bottles of wine and so forth, along with the corkscrew. But because this does not lock into place and it doesn't have a particularly serrated edge, I suggest that this would come within the folding pocket knife exemption, whereas if I take a standard DeWalt Stanley knife, again this is not a sponsored video, and extend the blade thusly, you can see this here, which as any Stanley knife does, requires a press before you can retract the blade, and otherwise it remains in its fixed position. So this, albeit a very short blade, is most definitely a locking blade for the purposes of the act and does not come within the folding pocket knife exemption, even though it's tiny. So I hope that clears up this as a confusion that this is most definitely not within the folding pocket knife exemption, but something like this is much more likely to be. But this video also comes with the caveat that any specific knife may be determined as a folding pocket knife or it may not if a case goes to court. And remember, if you're carrying anything like this around for the purposes of self-defense, that is going to make it an offensive weapon. So please don't carry anything like this around for the purposes of self-defense. And don't under any circumstances out of panic tell the police if you are questioned that you are carrying it for protection or something like that if you're not doing so. Because you might get yourself into very much more trouble if you tell the police that you're doing that when you're not doing that because once you've said it you can't take those words back and it makes it an offensive weapon. There were also one or two questions mentioning the same point whereas if the blade is removed from a multi-tool thus it no longer has the blade, whether it's exceeding three inches, whether it locks or not, it's just completely removed. Whether that makes it okay to take the remainder of the multi-tool out with you. Well, that also depends on whether there's any other kind of blade or any other kind of point. Now, one case that did talk about a multi-tool referred to the corkscrew. Didn't mention that the corkscrew itself would be a pointed article, but other items within the multi-tool may be a pointed article for the purposes of the act, although a screwdriver has been held not to be a pointed article for the purposes of the act. So as I say, each case will be taken on its own factual determination by the court, so you do run that risk. But if you wanted to carry a multi-tool with you and be safer, then removing the knife would be a good starting point. So I hope that was useful and thank you for watching.